Lauren Terrell was raised on a farm west of Edmonton, Alberta, and fondly places high value on the lessons learned from his rural upbringing. Well, I think that uh, a farming background in your early years was extremely important to research. On the farm, you run into a lot of problems and you have to learn how to solve them. In research, you run into a lot of problems and you have to find a way to solve them. And often, uh, some of the solutions and some of the methods were not that different. So I found that was a good training. Dr. Terrell would demonstrate incredible ingenuity and entrepreneurial spirit in his future research and administrative endeavors. But his success was also certainly guaranteed by his passion and people skills. Lauren has this infectious enthusiasm. It's just amazing. You, you can't help but, but, but like the guy when you, when, you, when you meet him. I've never met anybody with so many talents and has had so much effect on people. The most significant contribution was the development of uh, the first oral antiviral agent for hepatitis B. He was teaching a virology course and uh, got the idea that you could potentially use lamivudine to block the uh, replication of viruses like hepatitis B virus. I had a very good friend in the chemistry, Morris Robbins, and we discussed it. Within a year, we had patents on a number of compounds that looked very active. With the direct development of lamivudine, plus his research indicating where to go to make better drugs, he, he has played an enormous role in hepatitis B research. This was a monumental discovery for the benefit of millions worldwide, but more was to come from the research bench of Dr. Terrell as he extended his studies to hepatitis C. Again, I worked with important colleagues there, David Mercer and uh, Norm Kniedemann, and we developed the first animal model in the world, a small animal model for hepatitis C. It also works for hepatitis B and for malaria. It's been of Im immense use uh, for testing drugs uh, active against hepatitis C now, antibodies that can prevent infection, and also as a disease model so that we understand more about how the virus works and how the immune response um, tries to counteract it. Dr. Terrell had a major impact on the improvement of Alberta patient care infrastructure and research, but added to that builder legacy when responding to an impending national crisis in the 90s. There was a serious threat of not having enough do doctors to treat uh, Canadian patients. He wrote the report in the mid-90s that convinced the provincial ministries of health and that we, didn't, we weren't training enough medical students. Uh, at the time we undertook this, there were 1,577 first-year medical students in Canada, and now there's well over 2,500, and we were looking for 2,500. Had it not been for his intervention, I think uh, Canada would not have such an outstanding healthcare system as it has today. We talk about bench to bedside and back again. Well, Lauren is a, a classic example of someone who's actually done that and done it very, very well. It's just, just an outstanding individual. You know, when I look back at the major accomplishments uh, that I've been able to achieve, I couldn't have done them without the colleagues that I've worked with in each area. Most important in all of this is uh, to have a tremendously supportive wife, and Leanne has always supported me in all of this work, and my whole family. You know, when you do a lot of research, uh, there are sacrifices that families have to make to support it, and uh, I appreciate all of that. They've been very supportive. A superlative academic industry collaborator, compassionate physician, exceptional teacher and inspired researcher with global reach. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Lauren Terrell.